Today I'm going to talk about the National A38 gas pump. Here we have a National A38 gas pump and a Kelso pump is what this one was. Actually has its original advertising glass, the Kelso glass, in excellent shape with just a couple of little chips in the bottom corner over here, mainly because it was under a roof for most of its life out on a farm. It's got its original face. Full sun coated face, national. And over here, you can see the original logo. And I know it's not a very good shot of it, but according to that logo and the date up in the top corner up there, this pump was made in 1943. It's got its original nozzle with a brass tip to prevent sparks so that um nobody's car and shit would be blowing up it's got down here it's porcelain sign that says for use as a motor fuel only contains lead up in the very front here is a porcelain thing a porcelain badge that says glass must be full before and after delivery and up here is a glass ball and you would have seen gas coming in that little ball right there and it would have spun around and it would have made a swirly effect had a piece of chrome down at the very bottom now this pump has probably been painted but all the rest of it's all original over here, it, would, it has a door on the side of it with a key, a keyhole, and a crank for when you could crank the numbers back to set it back to zero. On the face, it says, it's got your, this sale at the top is when it was your, one of the first electrical computing gas pumps after the clock faces. It says, gallon and sale indications must be at zero. When delivery has begun, under penalty of law, gallons delivered and price per gallon. And this one is set at 10 cents and 9 tenths of a cent. Tax included maximum accurate act any at any rate of delivery at any pressures. National, Baton, Ohio. USA. The little history on the pump is that they were made between 1938 and uh, 1949. This particular pump was made in 1943, so it's possible that it was something other than a Kelso pump because Kelso was um, before Chevron, and it was when they uh, when it, they made Kelso pumps from 1946 to 1958. And uh, in 1946, the Kelso name was uh, started in the northeastern market using the red and white station colors. And then in 1955, Chevron started its Hallmark red and white blue logo, which was red, white, and blue logo. And then by 1958, all Kelso stations were converted over to the 1955 Chevron design. And you didn't see that Kelso logo on the gas stations or your gas pumps anymore 1969 chevron changed to one big bold blue and one big red stripe now, interesting is before this pump before kelso back in the wartime uh chevron had a big v with wings on it and that symbolized victory during world war ii now a little bit of history about 1943. 1943, gas was 15 cents a gallon, and you could buy a Coke for five cents, and you could buy a new car for $900. And uh, so inflation, you can tell by the cost of what you pay for shit today, has taken over, and, uh, and when you get to the pump and you see $2.50 and $3 a gallon, as opposed to 15 cents, you know, but also the average person back in 1943 only made around $7,000 a year.
this is a pretty good example of a 1943 National A38 gas pump. It's very deco looking in the design. Before these pumps, they had clock face pumps, and before that, even there were big glass bowls at the top, and then they shrunk them down. And you can see up here, it's got like chrome on the top. And there's a porcelain light fixture inside there that fucking uh, has two lights. And it, it looks the same on the other side as it does on this side. So there's another glass advertising window on the other side that says Kelso. And it has another face here. So it was two-sided. So you could pull up to the right, to this side of the gas pump. Or you could pull up to the other side of the gas pump. And it would have set on an island. So this pump right here is all original except for the window the i mean except for the uh the paint everything else is all original all the stainless steel trim the nozzle the hose have been replaced i did that that was a pain in the ass um, also i replaced the lock on the side of it because it didn't have the original key and that little button right there on the side is for turning the light on. And I'm not sure if that was originally there or not, but I doubt it. And you would have seen these in gas stations out in the Northeast. Kelso. One thing it doesn't have is the round Kelso porcelain sign that's round. It says Kelso and it's red that goes on the front. One day I might find that and I'll put it on there. That's, my, that's what I hope to do anyway. So, that's all I got to say about this Calso gas pump. 1943 National A38 gas pump. And station owners, when they bought these gas pumps, a lot of the time the pumps came out of the company's red. And over the years, they would paint them different colors when they changed brands or when they merge with other different companies. So a lot of times when you see people restoring a gas pump, it's hard for them to peg what originally the pump was or what kind of gas station it was because there's so many layers of different colors of paint over top the original. This one, however, was, to my knowledge, it came from a local farm and it was used for putting gas in tractors, so it was spared being that in the weather. And... uh it's always been a red pump, and at least we know in 1946 it became a Kelso pump. What happened in its first three years? It probably just had the clear window at the top instead of any kind of advertising. Why they decided to put Kelso gas in it, I don't know, unless that's they had some kind of deal or something where they were getting all their gas from Kelso. And they came across one of these windows and put it in there. It's got a very deco look at the base. Very nice rounded curves. Very artistic. Very artsy. If you look at the pumps today, they're just square digital pumps with little screens in it that have no character. This one, on the other hand, has points in it and stamped in the metal, and a nice rounded character. So, if you like this pump, and you wanna see some more videos, put it in the comment section and we'll make another video. I think one of the next videos we'll be making will be on this Echo Air Pump, air pump which would have had a compressor that sit inside of the service station, and when you got air in it, it would go, Ding, 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 ding. It's got like a little bell in that bitch. And it had a water feed on the side of it where you could get water for your radiator. Also, we got an old 19, late 1930s Duncan Parker meter we might talk about. That's just an old car dash from a Chrysler 300. If you know what year Chrysler 300 that was, hit me a, hit me a message. And my text, me a message. Or leave a comment. So again, I can't really get a good view of it because when I back off, it kind of fades in to try to get the whole thing. 
I can go panoramic like that. So if you like this video, subscribe to Giggo TV. Hit the like button and share the video so other people can see it. And uh, enjoy this old gas pump. A 1943 National A38 Kelso gas pump. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching the video.